morning and welcome to day 27 of May Vlogs. I really am losing track. Um, I am just getting some yarn on at the moment. I'm just mixing some dyes, which I'll probably get wrong while I'm talking to you, but oh well. Um, I can't show you again today because I am dyeing up the full skeins for the Nostalgia Club, but hopefully I will get them all done today and then um, that will be all the secret stuff dyed, so I'll be able to show you some more bits and pieces. Um, I have got Jasper all set up upstairs in mine and Tom's bedroom. Um, we've got a TV up there. We barely use it at all. We literally, we, we bought a new TV for downstairs. And um, this is like last year sometime. Um, we bought a new TV for downstairs and I didn't want to get rid of the old TV because it seemed a bit wasteful to kind of get rid of it completely. So we just popped it up in our bedroom thinking that maybe in an evening or something we might watch a film in bed or something like that. We never do. Um, but it does come in useful when the kids are fighting or when I need to kind of entertain Jasper in one area and Arthur in the other. <laughs> so at the moment, Jasper is in our bedroom watching Paw Patrol and Arthur is sat at the table doing some schoolwork. Um, we've done a couple of activities on his um, class seesaw thing this morning, which has been good. And he's just doing a little bit of some dog, which um, for those that don't know, it's kind of a it's an online learning system but it's games so he plays the games but in order to be able to kind of play the game he has to answer either maths questions or literacy questions um and then there's like loads of little mini games that you can play but to be able to play them you have to answer all the learning questions so he's doing some of that at the moment and that is our general plan for the day i need to get this yarn dyed i need to get the vlog uploaded. I've edited edited it this morning, so it's just exporting at the moment, so that's good. And then, yeah, just a pretty standard Tuesday, really, I think. We've got the wine delivery coming later, so that will be fun. I finished my socks yesterday, so that's quite nice. I'm trying to get back into the habit of doing, sorry for the crazy lighting, I shouldn't be so backlit. Um, there we go, let's see if I can stand here. And if I stand still, maybe it won't keep changing focus. No, it's not making much difference, is it? Sorry. Um, I'm trying to get back into doing a square a day on my blanket. So that's my next challenge for today, is to add a square to my Cozy Memories blanket. Arthur is calling, so I shall go to the afternoon it is gorgeous weather here in Dundee um, as you can tell by the fact that I'm rocking my sunglasses <laughs> um, I am sat in the garden the boys are playing in the garden um, the yarn is on the hob so I'm still working um, but I've got half an hour before I need to do anything for it and the timer is all set so I am gonna sit out here while the boys play nicely and keep working on this I'm still adding today's square um, but I'll get there eventually. Um, Arthur worked really, really well this morning. Um, he did some activities on his um, seesaw class app thing and he did some sum dog and yeah, so he's done really, really well today and they're just enjoying a bit of sun really. <laughs> sun all day can't you <laughs> um it's about four o'clock tom's just come down 
and I am up in my office I am going to have a little go at sewing a few more masks we're being recommended to wear them in supermarkets and stuff like that um, and the ones I've got are not very good these are the ones I've made before I've made a couple like this but they're really not brilliant and as a person who wears glasses I just steam up so I'm having a go at making some of the slightly better shaped ones and I'm going to try and do it properly and press the fabric and all of that kind of thing um so yeah that's my plan for just now i've got lots of fabric to choose from i am by no means an excellent sewer at all I, i'm not even a well, i would call myself a beginner sewer to be honest um but i've made the odd bag um and stuff like that before i used to make bags for the shop but um yeah so i've got loads of kind of fat quarters and random bits and pieces like that um, my plan in the end is to make some out of this fabric because I really like this fabric but I kind of don't want to waste it if I mess it up <laughs> so I'm saving these for the moment um, so I'm just going to do a quick one first out of something I'm not 100% sure what though um, I shall have to have a little look and see what I can find See, I've got loads of stuff in here that's already pre-cut, ready for bags. Um, yeah, loads of kind of bits that are already pre-cut, which is a little bit of a pain. I really should get back to sewing some bags, shouldn't I? Um, just little bits and pieces all pre-cut there. Look, I'm going to have a delve and see what fabric I can choose. Right, I think this is my fabric choice for the first trial run, so I just need to cut this out. Um, I'm kind of using, it's called the Olsen pattern, but I'm not doing it properly. I'm kind of hacking it, so I'm basically going to cut four of these out and have two for the front and two for the back, because I don't need to leave gaps for a filter or anything like that. I did top stitching. <laughs> I am ridiculously pleased by the fact that I did top stitching. Um, it's definitely not going to be winning the sewing bee anytime soon, but still, top stitching. And there it is. I don't know how well you can hear me. I think it's a little bit big for my face, to be honest. Um, I've definitely got some gaping here. And if I take my glasses off, I've got quite a bit of gaping there. I could have put a wire in to close this up around here um, but that's a little bit of a step too far for me. I haven't decided yet. I'm also not sure about the elastic behind the ears. I used hair bands um, and I'm not sure I like that. I think I liked the ties that I had on the other ones better. Um, yeah so all in all that's actually a bit big for me. It might fit Tom though. I might get him to try this one on. It's definitely gaping around there. With my glasses on, it's not too bad because my glasses hold it in. But yeah, that pattern is too big for my face. Yeah, it's a better fit on Tom than it was on me. So at least it'll get some use with somebody. <laughs> Right, there we go. That is a better fit, actually. Um, I know, I know, it looks a bit low here, doesn't it? Um, but with my hair up, it kind of ties on top of my hair. Can you see that there? I don't know whether you can see that. And it fits a lot better around my face. And actually, it's a lot more comfortable around my ears. It's not going to fall off because my hair is holding it up, and it just ties in two places and that is a much better fit around my face can you see much better much more comfortable yeah and hey purple ghosts
yeah so it's the same pattern i just took off the seam allowance um and instead of putting elastic i didn't i don't have any actual elastic i maybe i need to order some i used hair bands for the other one um but these hair bands the hair bands i've got left are a little bit too small um so i've just added some ties it did pull it down as you could see um it pulled it but to be fair it, the fit i'm sure it goes that way up i guess if i had it that way up which kind of feels upside down i could tie it above and below my ears but it fits better that way up. I guess it ties a bit low. But with my hair there, it works. I now remember what these bits of tape are on my um, sewing machine. <laughs> they were to mark out the positioning for sewing the drawstring channel. That's quite clever of past me, isn't it? And there we have it. One bag. I just need to put the drawstring in. But that's not bad, is it? Flat bottom, very fun Halloween print. And then it's got the purple ghosts on the inside. Sorry about the lighting. I'm sat in a really stupid place for filming. I didn't change my bobbin colour. I should have changed my bobbin colour. But to be fair, it doesn't really bother me. I did change the thread colour for the outside of the bag, though. So I'm happy with that. Right, let's get these drawstrings in. There it is. My finished project bag. I know, very Halloween-y, but I don't care. It could be Halloween every day. Um, let me see if I can open it up. I can't open it one-handed. It obviously seals quite well. And I've just popped in here my next sock project. I've grabbed out these. I, you, if you've watched the podcast, you'll have seen I caked these up a while ago. Um, this is some Easy Knits that I got as a gift from a friend. Um, in the rainbow grey, rainbow grey, rainbow grey colourway, and I've caked it into two fifty gram skeins, um, and that is going to be my next sock project. I think I'm just going to do some vanilla socks in that. Good evening. It is about quarter to nine. And we are just settling down for the evening. We tried something new with Arthur tonight. We have been having an absolute nightmare with Arthur and bedtime. Um, it's been really difficult. Um, so we tried giving the boys separate bedtimes tonight. Um, Jasper went down at half past seven. And actually that worked really well. And he was asleep by the time Arthur went up. Um, and then we Arthur was allowed to stay up until half past eight. But it was very much grown-up time so um i put a national geographic documentary from disney plus on about atlantis because <laughs> i figured that you know grown-up time he's got to if he's going to sit and watch it it's got to be something edu educational um i think he actually quite enjoyed it actually um but fingers crossed it's been a lot simpler it's the first night of us doing it so it's bound to work because he's excited that it's something new um, goodness knows if it will still be working by the end of the week, but we will see. Hopefully it will work. Anyway, we're settling down for the evening. Um, Tom's cooked tea tonight. He does that quite a lot, doesn't he? I'm lucky. <laughs> um, and I have no idea what we're going to do. I don't know whether we're going to watch TV, whether he's going to play computer games. We haven't sussed it out yet, but the wine delivery arrived, which means I have a glass of wine for the first time all month, actually. I think we haven't bought any wine at all this month. I also have a plate of dinner that's just been delivered by this wonderful man who's being awkward and not saying hello to the camera. Hello to the camera. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a glass of wine. That'll be really nice now that the wine delivery has arrived. And I am gonna sit and knit and relax and be a little bit annoyed by the fact that I sunburnt my chest um, and see you all tomorrow bye <laughs>